my name is Judith West and I'm from the Chislehurst congregation. So today we're looking at Genesis 26. It starts off with a famine in the land and Isaac goes to Abimelech, the king of the Philistines. Whilst he's there, God says to Isaac, stay where you are, don't go to Egypt. God also repeats to Isaac the promise he had given to Abraham that he would bless him and his descendants. So you might think that Isaac would feel pretty secure. But we read in verse 7, When the men of that place asked him about his wife, he said, She's my sister. Because he was afraid to say, She is my wife. He thought, The men of this place might kill me because she is beautiful. This was exactly the same thought process that Abraham had had, not once, but twice. And Isaac goes on to act in the same way. Why did he say this? Well, basically he was acting out of fear for his own skin. He had little thought for his wife or potentially the men that he was leading into sin. When we look at it in our 21st century eyes, it's quite easy to think that Rebecca might have said, you want me to do what? However, that was a different world, wasn't it? But we might be able to identify with Isaac's fear. This year, the coronavirus has brought fear to many. I know that I have felt a stab of fear at times. What if I caught COVID? What would happen to me? Or for others, it might be fear of the economic situation brought about by COVID. If we consider fear, it's often about me, what would happen to me? And it causes us to look inwards, not at God. Isaiah 43 verse five says, do not be afraid for I am with you. I view this as a command and would I knowingly break other commands of God? And why does God tell us not to fear, even when we're in scary situations? Well, it's because he is with us, isn't it? So the God who spoke the world into being, who created the universe, an intelligence far beyond anything that we could imagine, he is the God who is with us. But maybe there is something else at play here. Psalm 19 verse 12 says, So who can discern his own errors? Who indeed? We don't know if Abraham, if Isaac was aware that Abraham had acted in the same way. But it seems to me that often we can be on automatic pilot. We act in the ways that are instinctive and natural for us. Habits, attitudes, Ways of reacting are instilled in us as we grow up. These things can come from our parents, from teachers, others in authority, or maybe friends. But God is in the process of making us more like Jesus. So what can we do about these habits and attitudes that are ingrained and that we may not even be aware of? In Psalm 139, David prayed, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me. This is a bold prayer. It's been said that God loves us as we are, but loves us too much to leave us as we are. As we experience more and more of God's amazing, accepting love for us, so we are secure enough to face the darkness that is inside all of us. Darkness that God wants to free us from so that we can live life in all its fullness, the life that Jesus came to bring us. He came to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoner. And this, of course, includes those things that are in our characters. As a young Christian, I was wisely told that if God is putting his finger on something, it will be in a gentle voice. Condemning voices come either from the enemy or from ourselves. Fairly recently, I was felt that God was telling me that I can be too judgmental at times. I didn't find this a condemning voice. It was just as if God was giving me some information about myself that I was unaware of. And I know that the power of God in me will help me to correct this and work a change in me. God will change us slowly from inside out as we spend time with him, transforming our lives from one degree of glory to another, as it says in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. 
So in summary, what can we learn from this episode in Isaac's life? Firstly, when we're fearful, to keep our eyes fixed on God. And secondly, to open ourselves to God, to allow him to show us areas of our lives where he wants to be at work in us.